so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys another matted outfit from the outfit transfer glitch so for this outfit you are going to need the white joggers but i can make another version of it where you can use the fake white joggers i'll probably make that later this week or something like that but yeah for this one right here that i'm showing you guys you are going to need the white joggers or like i just said you can wait so i make the other video doing it with the fake white joggers but yeah we're going to be doing the transfer glitch which means you're going to be losing all your outfits except for only one so before you start make sure you equip the outfit that you don't want to lose also if you already don't have a rebreather or an earpiece just go to ammunition and go buy either a rebreather or earpiece doesn't matter which one when you're ready to start the glitch just go ahead and put on the outfit that you don't want to lose like i said come to the clothing store set your spawn location on last location hit your pause button go to online and go to swap character So once you get loaded inside of here, you're going to go over to your second character and underneath your second character, it's either going to say edit or delete. If it says delete under your second character, just go ahead and delete your second character and two new characters will walk in and you should get the edit option under your second character. Once you get the edit option under your second character, just go ahead and select it and when your second character is going, you're going to get this alert right here. Just go ahead and accept it. Once your second character gets in this room, if it ended up being a male, just change it into a female. But if it ended up being a female, just leave it as a female. Go ahead and save and continue. I'll make a name for it and then take the picture. Once you take the picture, it's going to go ahead and load you inside of a new session. So once you get loaded inside your new session, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and hit your pause button and open up your map. And you want to check to see if there are any clothing stores inside your session. If you see clothing stores inside your session, you want to go ahead and make your way over to the nearest one. But as you can see for me, there are no clothing stores inside my session. So if you don't have any clothing stores in your session, just go ahead and find a new session and the clothing stores are going to be inside that new session. So if you see clothing stores in your session, just go to the nearest one. And if you don't see any clothing stores, just find a new session or switch sessions and the clothing stores are going to be inside that new session. So I'm about to get spawned inside my new session and as you're going to see there are going to be clothing stores inside of here.
so once you get inside the um, clothing store you want to go to the top section go to overcoats and buy the lime closed parka which should be number 41 so just come to the top section go to overcoats and buy the lime closed parka and if it says open all you got to do is buy it go to your interaction menu go to your styles scroll all the way down and it should have the option to open and close it and you want to make sure it's closed and you also want to put the hoodie up and i'm going to sh um, show you guys how to do it once i buy it so once you've closed it and put the hoodie up you want to make your way over to the um pants section go to sport pants and buy the spotted muscle pants which are going to be the first ones as always and once you've got that you want to make your way over to the high heel boots and you're going to buy the deluxe midnight combat so just come over to the shoe section go to high heel boots and you're going to buy the deluxe midnight combat So once you've bought them, you want to go ahead and make your way over to the accessories. And if your female character has any earrings on, make sure you take them off because some female characters do spawn in by default with earrings. So if yours has earrings on, make sure you go take it off. Once you take off your earrings, just go ahead and come save your outfit. And when you save it, make sure you saved it in the empty slot that's on your main character. So if the outfit that you didn't want to lose on your main character was in slot 20 or like slot 15, you will just save this in a different slot so just save it on an empty slot that's on your main character once you saved your outfit now we're gonna go ahead and make our way over to the top section go to work jackets and you're gonna buy the peach camo clothes field so just come over here to the work jackets and buy the peach camo clothes field once you've got that you're gonna back out stay inside the top section go to tuck t-shirts and you're gonna buy the blue digital t-shirt so just come over to the tuck t-shirts and buy the blue digital t-shirt so once you got that now you're gonna go ahead and come save the outfit and when you save it make sure you save it right underneath of the previous outfit that you made Once you save your outfit, just go ahead and back out, go to standard outfits and buy the Chica outfit. Once you've got the Chica outfit, just go ahead and completely back out, hit your pause button, go to online and click on creator. Once you get loaded inside a creator, just click on create a race and then click on land race. Once you get loaded in here, click on race details. Go ahead and fill out the title and the description. Doesn't have to be anything specific. I just put random stuff for it. After, go ahead and take the photo, put the maximum players on two and set the root type on point to point. After that, just hit your pause button, open up your map and you want to warp over to the airport. Once you get to the airport, just hit be a circle, your back button, click on placement, click on place triggers, go ahead and place it down, and then back out of that, click on lobby camera, go ahead and take it, and then back out of that, and then you want to click on checkpoints. Now, it doesn't matter how many checkpoints you place down, as long as the um, race is 0.62 miles or longer. So just go ahead and make the race 0.62 miles or longer. Once you've made it 0.62 miles or longer, just hit your back button twice so be a circle just hit it twice and it's going to give you the option to test out the race and you just want to go ahead and test it out so right here i ended up pressing save by accident because i was scrolling through it way too fast but it looks like it didn't really um affect the glitch but all you want to do is um test the race out not save it just go ahead and test it out
once you finish the race you're gonna get this completed alert just go ahead and accept it once you load in just hit your pause button go to online and go to choose character Once you get loaded inside of here, just go over to your second character and you're going to delete her. So make sure you delete your female. You don't want to delete your male by accident. Make sure you go over to your female that got the chica outfit on and you're going to delete her. Once you delete your second character, two new characters will walk in. From here, just hit either be a circle, your back button, so it takes you inside of single player. Once you get loaded inside of single player, just hit your pause button, go to online, go to play GTA online, and just go inside of a invite only session. So all you're doing in single player is going inside of a invite only session. So when you get spawned inside your um, invite only session, you should have your outfit on that you didn't want to lose. So you want to make sure you come save it since it's not going to be saved. So wherever you spawn at, come save your outfit. And when you save it, make sure you save it towards the bottom so it doesn't get in the way when you're trying to merge your other outfits. So once you save your outfit, you want to have your white joggers on or whatever joggers you want to use. Or like I said, you can wait till I make the video using the fake white joggers, but I'm going to be putting it on my white joggers. When you're ready to merge outfits, just hit your pause button, go to online, go to jobs, play jobs, rockstar created, and go into versus, and you want to start up crud cops. When you get inside the settings of crud cops, make sure you put the clothing on player owned or the glitch will not work. Once you've put the clothing on player owned, you can invite a friend to join or just wait for a random to join. So once you get loaded inside of crud cops, you want to go down to owned outfits and hit right on the d-pad twice and you should have your outfit on from there just go ahead and ready up when you get loaded inside of crud cops all you want to do is go ahead and open up your interaction menu go to your styles go to your accessories and put on either a rebreather or an earpiece whichever one it doesn't matter once you've got that you want to open up your phone and quit the job from your phone once you load inside your online session you should have your outfit on from here just go ahead and come save it once you save your outfit, you can go ahead and delete the component for it since you don't need it anymore. So that's going to be it for this video. For you guys enjoyed it and liked the outfit. And if you did, don't forget to drop a like on it. Share, subscribe if you already haven't. And don't forget to turn your post notifications so you don't miss out on future videos.